Representative Necklemore, who's there at the press conference, uh, one of the smartest guys in the, in the Ohio General Assembly, as far as I'm concerned. Representative Ron Mag, I want to quote him so bad, but he's going to quote himself when he comes. He's been a leader on this. He's been uh, there from the very beginning, and we're grateful for his leadership. Thank you for joining us. Representative Mag. Uh, there for a second, I thought she was calling me one of the smartest people in the legislature. I was really impressed. You might have saw me start making a move up here. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for coming, and I want to thank all of you for keeping up the fight. Uh, Representing Mecklenburg talked about one issue that I think we're going to hear a lot about. It's unconstitutional. Well, the people that tell me it's unconstitutional, I look around, and none of them are wearing a black robe. So I'm not sure. In Ohio, if you recall when it was back, uh, and I don't remember the date, but the uh, partial birth abortion ban, it was born here, it was found unconstitutional. Other states fought, we continued to fight, and is now the law of the land. Yeah. So we don't give up just yeah. because someone says it might be unconstitutional. And I think Janet's favorite quote, we were sitting down in the cafeteria, we were talking about this, and I told her, you know, None of the people, again, I've seen talking about this are wearing a black robe. But one day, one day, we will all face a judge. We will face that judge. And when he asked me, Ron, what did you do to protect the innocent, to protect our, the greatest gift that I have given mankind? I want to be able to say, and I will be honored to say, I stood up for them. I voted for the heartbeat bill. These are the heroes. I, I just, what an honor it is to, uh, to even know them. They, and they still take my calls, which is really quite amazing. Here's one of my favorite legislators from back in the day. Uh, I, I, it's, I can't call you an old timer without being called an old timer. Representative Jim Beakey is one of the heroes in the movement who back when we were passing the nation's first ban on partial birth abortion, and there was an effort to undo it. And then we couldn't get in with the speaker's office. That's when we didn't have such a friendly speaker. You remember that. And I said, Jim, can, I can't get in that meeting, but can you get in the meeting? He says, I'm in. He went in and he helped to pass the nation's first ban on partial birth abortion. He's going to help to pass the nation's first heartbeat bill. Representative Jim Beakey, God bless you. Thank you very much, Dan. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, welcome and thank you for your commitment as we work to preserve life. Uh, I first joined the legislature in 1983, and this country was well up on its way from the 60s to abdicate responsibility. And we've turned over to government the responsibility to take care of ourselves. That's what's happened in the last 50 years. And along the way, we've lost respect for life. And it's high time that we turn that around. And that's what we're doing with House Bill 125. And all these people sitting behind me who serve, we all serve together, our numbers are growing because life is right. And I can't thank them enough for their commitment, but most of all, you working with, and Jan and I have worked together on these issues along with Representative Watchman and others since 1987 when we passed the bill. So let me just say, keep it up, keep our feet to the fire so that we all work to make sure that the sanctity of life is preserved for all. Thank you, Representative Jim Beakey, one of the heroes, back again for such a time as this. You know, there's a, a lot of people who are uh, heroes. If you've served in the nation's military, raise your hand. And if any, we've got some armed service people here, we want to thank you. Because we have someone who uh, served in the Marines very proudly. You can kind of tell by the haircut. <laughs> Representative Danny Buff is uh, one, of the, one of the leading co-sponsors. He was there in the beginning, never once hesitated to do the right thing because he wants to see babies with beating hearts protected by law. Representative Buff, thank you so much. You know, Janet just mentioned our speaker, Bill Batchelder, and said how he's a pro-life individual. But we just left session a moment ago, and I will tell you there's heavy hearts in the House of Representatives, because this week Speaker Batchelder's father passed away at the ripe old age of 96 years. Now, 
I say that because that is the way life should be. We should all have the opportunity to live that long, but we're here today trying to protect those that won't have that opportunity. And growing up, you know, our parents told us, watch out who you hang around with. You're known by the company that you keep. Well, behind me is a host of state representatives that are all pro-life, all dedicated to the Christian movement, and I am pleased to be here today with them. As we move forward with this legislation, I will tell you that uh, we are in support of it, and at some point, the courts will decide, but as uh, Ron Mag said a moment ago, you know, we all have that opportunity of eternal salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord, and I will tell you that I am so proud of Lynn Watchman and his uh, energy in bringing forth this bill and let's see what happens and let it go through the court system and pray to God because God does answer prayers and I believe that we move forward that it will all work out to the glory of God. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for supporting this movement. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to ask uh, Sarah Cleveland and Audrey Breyer, Dreyer to come here uh, very quickly. I want to thank you for the patience for our legislators. I know they've got to go back to work and uh, push for a vote on this uh, heartbeat bill. But I want to show you why we're here today. I just want to give you a little glimpse of, of what this thing is about. You're going to have to come. Can you come all the way up to the front? We're going to need a microphone. Now you need to come here. You have to pay more for a portable microphone. They don't do that. We're saving money to save babies. Okay. Yeah. Sarah, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. If you can uh, be real quiet and listen, there is a baby inside here. This is what we're fighting for, guys. Let me see if you're... She's 16 weeks along. She's 16 weeks along. Right now, in the state of Ohio, abortion is legal through all nine months of pregnancy. There we go. There we go. it. that's come out today to support life. Um, I just want to kind of challenge everybody that's here today. Um, not just take a stand for two hours of your life on one day of the year. Uh, babies are aborted every single day. Somebody right now is getting an abortion. Many women right now are getting an abortion. There's abortion facilities right here in Columbus. There's four abortion facilities right here in Columbus. Two of them that will abort babies up to 20 weeks here in Columbus. If you're after 20 weeks, they will abort babies. In other cities in Ohio, they refer you on. That is legal right now. The heartbeat bill will protect the vast majority of those babies from the moment that their heart is detected. That is unbelievable, guys. That is crazy. I'm really excited. I want you guys to be motivated, not just to be here for one hour or for 20 minutes or for two hours, to come and sit up and go home and not care. The pro-choice people are not what's keeping abortion legal. It's the indifference of people keeping it legal. We need people to stand up. We need people to care. We need people to be active. We need people to pray. If you can't financially contribute to a crisis pregnancy center, you can donate your used baby clothes. You can donate your time. There's great local organizations that are very active in the pro-life movement. A lot of grassroots places that you can contact. Created Equal is a great new place. Um, uh, organization that is grassroots educating people about life before birth and, and, and abortion. There's sidewalk counselors out there. Every Friday, Saturday morning, all throughout the week, there's people that go and pray outside these abortion facilities. The, those are the, that's where we need to be, guys. That's where we need to show the, the support of the community for these women that are going in there that feel like they have no hope. We need to tell them that there is hope, that the answer to their problems is not abortion. So it's not just enough to say that you are pro-life. I challenge you today to be pro-life. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah Cleveland, who isn't from Cleveland, oddly enough. Uh, 
We have uh, from Southwest Ohio. Anybody from Southwest Ohio here? All right, we got some constituents. Cliff Rosenberger, one of the prime sponsors, one of the lead co-sponsors, was there in the beginning. Never had to be asked twice. We're grateful that you're here. Welcome. You know, I don't know how you can question the amazement of God's creation when you hear something like that. I mean, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? And so make no mistake that today is about one thing, and that's protecting those who cannot stand up for themselves. It's about protecting those who have no voice that's yet unheard. And it's about standing up for the rights of those of the unborn. And I can't stand here today and think of any better way than to sit here and support Lynn Watchman as he spearheads this movement and these great members of this legislature who stood up and said that we will no longer stand for this. And Ohio had a motto that said that we're the heart of it all. And Lynn, soon this nation and this state will hear the heartbeats of many voices all throughout this land when we pass this piece of legislation. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. God bless you. Let's uh, go next to Representative Jim Butler. It wasn't too long ago, Representative Butler, we had uh, bagels right over here talking about the heartbeat bill. And his only question was, how can we protect the most babies? And we're convinced this is the way to do it. We're grateful for your support. Representative Butler, welcome. Thanks, everybody, for being here today. I have uh, uh, twin daughters. And uh, when you have twins, yeah, you come in for uh, an ultrasound uh, around eight or eight or nine weeks. Uh, so I, and I still remember that day. Uh, went in, saw the ultrasound, saw my two girls, saw their beating hearts, uh, and, and ever since then, my life has really changed. Um, all through the all through the pregnancy, um, my wife had a, a heartbeat monitor, and she would check uh, probably you know ten times a day to make sure that the girls were doing well and were were. Uh, we're alive and well, so um, heartbeat really means a lot, a lot to me. Uh, and it's just a travesty that uh, currently in our country and in our state, uh, it's legal to uh, take the lives of those uh, that have beating hearts. Um, I just want to say too that the uh, it's been discussed. You know, I, I think uh, Representative Mecklenburg mentioned that you have, you know, there. there Ohioans need jobs and the economy and all that. Um, you know, that's certainly um, very important. But we also need to be a moral society because a country without honor cannot survive long. Yeah. Thank you very much. 